going on people it's the xbox 448 and today i got a few pieces of some really good news for x1 owners um microsoft fans and just the general future of xbox one um i know there was a lot of people talking on who actually had the better co conference when it came to e3 um i came across a couple lists in terms of pre-orders for games that I think you guys really need to know about. Uh, the first one is basically the uplift of pre-orders for games. Um, the increase in pre-orders for games, you know, following E3 2015. And I gotta tell you that number one is an Xbox One exclusive. It's Forza Motorsport 6. And it had an increase of 1,005%. So that means when this game was revealed, people s saw how gorgeous it actually looked, s you know, heard the features, everything like that. The, the pre-order actually increased 1,005%. Um, you know, I want to round out this list for you, so I'll let you know. Number two was Star Wars Battlefront. Number three was actually Rainbow Six Siege. And um, it's a little surprising to me with the games that were shown and such, but that had a 690% increase in pre-orders number four was uncharted 4 at 488 percent then you had your fallout deus ex halo 5 came in at number seven with 340 344 percent um really cool i mean four is a topping that list is crazy but it gets even better now most pre-ordered games and accessories that are announced at e3 number one is rare replay let me repeat that. Number one is Rare Replay. And it just shows how, you know, respected and, and loved Rare is within the gaming community. It is their 30th anniversary collection. 30 games for $30, a dollar a game, going all the way back to NES, pulling out games like RC Pro-Am, uh, the, uh, the, the OG Xbox, which was, was grabbed by the ghoulies, up to nuts and bolts. Um just a really good collection but then number two was actually gears of war ultimate edition uh so in most pre-ordered games and accessories that were announced at e3 the first two are microsoft the first two are x1 exclusives um just to round it out a little bit number three was doom four was dishonored two then we have final fantasy 7 the remake actually came in at number uh number five and you don't see a true PlayStation exclusive until you get to number eight with Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, again, this kind of shows exactly what happened at E3. You know, it shows where the hype went. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say on it. I already made a video about what I thought happened at E3. But let's talk about backwards compatibility for a second. Um, it seems that with the way Microsoft has set up this emulation where uh they emulated the entire 360 operating system to where the x1 thinks that operating system is just a game and the 360 games think that they're running on the 360 with the way that they set this up it seems that if the publishers agree to it any of your dlc or any dlc that you buy through this 360 or xbox.com for these 360 games will actually transfer over and be backwards compatible with your game as well so what i'm trying to say here is you have a 360 game and you have dlc as long as the publisher agrees to it both things will be playable on the x1 that is absolutely genius a really good move Especially for people who are coming over from the 360 to the X1. They'll be able to have their DLC with their games. All in all, it's, it's some really good information. Some really good news. Uh, I, I can see like this build up when it comes to X1 going from the holiday season and beyond. Because remember, Phil Spencer is fixing that whole heavy on the holidays thing. And we got games coming out in early 2016. We have games coming out in spring 2016. Uh, it seems that the, the IPs are going to spread out a little bit more throughout the year. So, all in all, it's really good news for Xbox. But as usual, I want to know what you guys think in the comic, comments. I, I want to I know if you guys think if these, these pre-orders 
pre-order increases and whoever's at the top of the list are, are they going to stay there all the way through until their games come out um and what do you think about the dlc actually coming over with backwards compatibility as well but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off